Well, they brought their talents to the game in a different way. I mean, Alan Shield had played the game, and so he understood it, and he wrote about it with a lot of knowledge. And uh, he wrote about it to the harsh deadlines that they had in those days and, and did it pretty well. So I, I think the fact that uh, he was respected because he'd come from a playing background and uh, had this depth of knowledge made him an invaluable link between the game and the public. So that uh, particularly in the era that he wrote, people would pick up the paper and they'd be looking for some analysis of his view because to a large extent they probably hadn't been able to see it in the way that they do today uh, with the way the media has changed. And in, in Ray's case, he was just one of those instinctive fellas who knew with a camera uh, where to go, what to look for and what to get. And uh, given that uh, he's lucky not to have been fried to a chip for all the years of his covering cricket. In, in Roger's case, uh, like the others, you know, passion for what you're doing and was able to convey that as a broadcaster. Uh, to sit there, look at the game, work with whoever it was alongside him and bring to the audience um, his, his view of the game. Um, crucially, of course, as a radio broadcaster, always giving the score, doing those things. Um, but I think the, the passion he had came out in everything he did as a, as a radio broadcaster. And people always uh, appreciate that when they're listening, uh, they have that, that conversation that's almost intimate going uh, between that person and themselves as the audience. It's a bit like a, a long session when you're in the pub and someone gr grabs your ear and you, you're locked in. It's a bit like that on the radio, and, and Roger conveyed that in the, the most pleasant way. My wife, who is in heaven in the garden, where are you going, darling? I'm going to heaven at the Adelaide Oval, said, don't talk too much when you get your... Thank you very much. To all of you people, to all the SACA staff who do a fantastic job, and I come to the Sheffield Shield because it's free, and that's fantastic, and Sheffield Shield and great cricket is what I'm going back to, and Alan Shield, who made a double century against the MCC, great types, they've been doing it 50 years, I'm only 26, so enjoy the test match, and it's hot, the farmers are in town, and we'll have a beer. In um, 1961 I did my first test here, working test, the umbrella field against the West Indies, last year the Ashes was the last one, and I'm not sure between Chef and myself, if there's more beers drank or more runs for it. It's been a great place to enjoy 50 years of fantastic great times. Thank you. Ooh, I'm still trying to um, work out uh, exactly what this is all about. Uh, Beck rang me yesterday and said, oh, we'd like you to come down and um, might have a little presentation for you. And uh, I gradually gleaned out of it that um, uh, might be uh, hanging a picture of Ray and myself and uh, Roger in the uh, members bar for a year or two. And I thought, well, that's only pretty fair enough for the, for the times that I've spent in there over the years and the money I've poured into the place. But he, <laughs> but he was able to say that it might go into the uh, media box in a two or three uh, years' time, so that's uh, nice to know. Uh, and I would like to thank the SACA and everyone responsible for that. It's obviously a good honour, it's a great thrill.